Hello everyone, how's it going? I wanted to talk to you guys about this new handheld that's coming out. You guys may or may not have seen this, but it's from this company, TJD, uh, and it's called the T10. And I think they just make like Windows or Android tablets or something. I'm not really familiar with them, but um, this is what it looks like. And it's, it's a very interesting concept. And I, I gotta say my first impression was that it's it's kind of ugly, but the more I look at it, it's it's actually kind of a neat design. Um, these like accents here are, are very interesting. Um, but it's it's a very interesting concept. Um, the biggest thing is that it has a 10.1 inch screen. And that's just, that's pretty big. Like the, when you compare it to the Steam Deck, this has a seven inch screen. Um, the uh, GPD, or excuse me, the um, ROG Ally has a 7-inch screen. Inch screen. Uh, I think the biggest one we've seen is like the One X player. I think it's like 8.4 inches, and the Ioneo Kuhn will have a similar size screen as well. Um, this is going to have two different SKUs. It has this the Ryzen 7 7840U, and then uh, there is a Ryzen 5 one as well, I believe. Uh, let's see if it mentions it here. Not sure if it will or not, but yeah, a bit a bit lower end model, um, but it's it's definitely interesting to see. Um, have a lot of the bells and whistles. It goes up to forty or thirty five watts. Uh, I think it said that it was sixty watt battery, sixty watt hour battery. I don't really know. I mean, you guys tell me what you think about this. It it, it kind of looks like a toy, like like. I don't know if if the Switch Pro was was real, I would yeah, I'd expect it to look something like this. I mean, it's it just looks weird. It just looks like a toy. It's it's kind of weird to me, but apparently it has really good airflow, hall triggers, hall joysticks, um, gyroscope, and stuff like that. Um, it says eight hours standby, five hours independent gaming which is indie, indie games, large scale games, two to three hours, which is pretty good for, for a Windows handheld. Um, but the whole reason they can fit a giant battery in there is because this thing is pretty big. I mean, look at that screen. It's, it, it's, it's pretty ginormous overall. Um, they're, sh they're showing a few different modes. Gathering mode is interesting. Um, <laughs> it just seems like that might be a weird translation, but, um, advertising playing all these games here these are the different models so you have the 7640 i think that's the ryzen 5 uh 16 gigs of ram one terabyte that might actually be a pretty good option depending on the price here if they can get this um like pretty far down like starting at 700 bucks would be cool or five five ninety nine i don't i don't think that's gonna happen but just a low price under a thousand dollars would be good for this if they can manage to get that um, so these are the different specs here. Yeah, 60 watt hour battery, Wi-Fi 6E. Um, I believe it said it had a 1200p display. If we go up, uh, let's see, yeah, 1200p. Um, so pretty good overall. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, I, I'm I'm really liking the the influx of um, handheld PCs that, that are showing up here, even though a lot of these are like from China and whatnot, which I, you know, I'm not really a big fan of those. It's, it's still cool to see the industry moving along and it's gonna push other companies to, to start doing this. We've already seen Asus jump in after Valve threw their hat in the ring with this. Um, this is a, a comparison between the two, the TJD-T10 and the Asus Ally, the ROG Ally. Um, not really sure what they're saying here because they say that the Ally has a 10.1 inch screen as well. I, I'm not really sure how they're, I guess they're showing what this, what this doesn't have, which I mean, the Ally does have 16 gigs of RAM. It's kind of a weird uh, thing there, but yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think about this one. The T10 by J or by TJD. It's kind of a weird name. Um, 
it's it's very interesting to say the least i still think it kind of looks like a toy but i'm curious to see your guys' opinion on that i wonder how that d-pad's gonna be you know the circle e-pads are not always that good they can either be really good or really really bad so we'll see but i'm gonna wrap it up here guys thanks for watching let me know leave any comments of uh, opinions you might have on this here and we will see you in the next one thanks